5 was tabled at the June 2, 2009 Council meeting. Reopen discussion and vote on resolution to canvas and approve bids for capital project 09-10, sidewalk plow replacement with option 1, finishing mower and option 2, 132 inch truck loading chute and radio installation and authorize the city engineer to expend $104,883.
word for it, he knows what he's talking about. And our operator is telling us to purchase this vehicle. Well, we, we do have obligations with respect to the bidding process and, and how that relates to compliance with specifications. And, and I don't know whether our controller or the city attorney would want to make any advice or suggestions with respect to a situation where you have bids that are very close to, but perhaps not precisely in compliance with each and every step. Do you have any thoughts on that, Ms. Kirsten? I think I have an observation that, uh, I, assuming Mike's um, methodology of grading the compliance to the bid spec is unbiased and accurate and weighted properly, if you use simple algebra to get them to be 100% compliant, um, the differential in price is about um, $1,300. Um, the McLean machine um, still works out to be less. If you were to take 95 point, or 96.5%, make it 100%, that machine would cost 107754 just using math. Uh, and similarly, at 99.8%, the Joe Johnson machine is $109,057. Uh, that still gets us to the point where you have to evaluate whether it is compliant. Um, I, the only major non-compliance I'm hearing is the decibel ones. If that was a spec, I didn't pay attention enough. Tires on the McLean machine are not in spec. Is that correct, Mr. Bow? They're not the radials spec. I'm sorry? They're not the radials spec. Okay. Do you have any idea what it would cost if it turns out that those tires are inadequate given the amount of snow and the depth of some of the snow banks that, that our snow, our sidewalk snow plow has to go through? But they turned out that this. That McLean tires were not adequate. Any idea what it would cost to put different tires on it? None whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to make a motion that we uh, uh, we accept the McLean machine, which was the low bid as um, as recommended by the assistant city engineer. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay? Nay. No. I'm going to ask, ask the clerk to take a roll call. Councilor Jones? Nay. Councilor Moraski? Aye. Councilor Smith? Aye. Councilor Rafty? Nay. Councilor Moore? Aye. Councilor Brown? Nay. My understanding is that the mayor cannot vote to break a tie once a resolution for the expenditure of money, so that resolution fails. <laughs>